Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistenrelf. I have a quick question that was posed on Reddit, on the Magic TCG subreddit, by Chocolate Pajamas. I love Reddit usernames. The question is, what design space do you want Wizard, that's what they said, to explore more? Okay, now you think you know the answer, and you're pretty close. You think it's gonna be Infect, and while I'm a huge fan of Infect, that's actually not my number one. I don't know if it's two or three, I don't, I don't actually know, but it's not my number one. Which is, I'm a big fan of the mechanic Shroud, and I think that there's actually a lot of design space that's being lost by not using it. See, a little bit of context here. Shroud is a nine on the storm scale. For those that don't know what the storm scale is, that's Mo Mark, Ro Mo <laughs> Mark Rosewater's uh, estimation of how likely a mechanic is to return in standard at a given point. So it doesn't have to do with commander sets, for instance, it has to do with standard specifically. And there are a lot of factors that come into this, like how easy it is for a player to understand, especially a newer player, how well it does in constructed and limited, which admittedly is part of the reason why Infect is as high on the storm scale as it is. Last I checked, it's a 6. Uh, and a 9 means it would take a minor miracle for it to come back. Now, Shroud is a 9. And actually, I should give a little bit of background, because the last time that we had a standard legal Shroud card was back in Zendikar block. So, <laughs> just, just to catch everybody up, I think, I can't remember any from Scar's block. Uh, Shroud basically is like hexproof for both players. The creature that has Shroud, for instance, can't be targeted by either player. Now, you can still affect it, but you can't target it. So, for example, if I have a Nimble Mongoose, Nimble Mongoose is a 1 1 with Shroud, and it has another mechanic called Threshold, which I also like, and which is also a 9 in the Storm scale, but we're gonna ignore that for just a second. It's a 1 1 with Shroud. That means that I can't hit it with a pump spell. I can't, you know, berserk it to make it more powerful and give it trample. Instead, if I want to make it more powerful, it has an ability built into it. I could use Anthem Effects, for instance, uh, which is a, a pump spell that doesn't target, usually helping your whole team out. I could do something like that to help it out, but on the other hand, my opponent can't bolt it, they can't fatal push it, they can't path to exile it, that no vapor snag, none of that. And so Shroud is this balanced mechanic. Obviously, if you're playing a card with Shroud, you're expecting to break the symmetry. But the idea is that neither player gets to work with it. Hexproof, of course, is one-sided. Hexproof means you can't touch it, but I can. This is where Slippery Bogle, for instance, comes in, and Glade Cover Scout, and Geist of Saint Traft, and Thrun the Last Troll, and so on and so forth. We get why Hexproof is powerful. It's obviously really powerful because of its one-sidedness. I think, and I wasn't able to find anything definitive about this before I went on, but I think the most popular theory as to why Shroud is a 9 on the Storm scale is because it confused a lot of players, thinking that it worked like Hexproof, when in fact neither player can do anything to it. And if that's the case, it's unfortunate, but there's a lot of design space we're missing out on. So for example, let me take a card like, uh, well again, we'll compare it to Slippery Bogle. It's a 1-1 one, one with Hexproof. Now, that's really good, but that's not too strong. That's not broken. If you want to make a card, let's say we start with that baseline. If you want to make a card more powerful, you need to take something away from it, too, to balance it out. Hopefully something of approximately equal power. So, if we want to give it another ability built in, like Nimble Mongoose's plus two, plus two, or say a Basking Root Walla effect or something like that, we need to take something away. This is why Nimble Mongoose gets compared to Slippery Bogle. It's because it gets something, the pump, but it loses something, which is you can't directly pump it yourself with, again, a pump spell or an aura, etc. You're not gonna Rancor your Nimble Mongoose. Yes, I know there are ways to do it, but you have to do a lot of work to get there. But the trick is that with Shroud, because it works with both players, you can say pretty easily, I think, that Nimble Mongoose is a better card. It's sort of like it's getting two things here. You're getting the pump, 
that's coming from Nimble Mongoose's ability, and you're getting defense from your opponent's stuff in exchange for not being able to target it yourself. It's a two for one. And we can say maybe we can weigh those differently, but that's the idea anyway. Now, you don't have to just imagine that scenario. Shroud is a, me is a mechanic that allows you to make cheaper creatures by giving them this drawback such that you can give them something else. So for example, let's say I have Glistener Elf. This is our new baseline. I hope I'm explaining this well. But this is why I give these examples. I hope, I hope you all get this. Glistener Elf is a 1-1 with Infect. If you're watching this channel, you know what Glistener Elf is. <laughs> I, I don't even need to put that on the screen. You know what that is. If you gave Glistener Elf Hexproof, how ridiculously broken would that card be? Okay, let me rephrase that. If you gave Glistener Elf Hexproof and didn't up the mana cost by like three or four, that would be stupidly broken, right? But if you gave it Shroud, well, that's interesting. Now you've created a card that can't get the turn one Lightning Bolt, Fatal Push, Path to Exile, etc., but it also can't be pumped. It's a two edged sword. So. You could then, if you wanted to, add a, an ability onto a Glistener Elf like this, a Shrouded Glistener Elf, so that it kind of can pump itself a little, itself a little bit, like a, a watered down Basking Ritwala ability, or I don't know, a way to give itself count. It, it's I'm just off the top of my head thinking of this, so forgive me if that doesn't sound very balanced. But the idea is now that you can't make it that much stronger you have a little bit of room to give it something else. Shroud gives you more design space in that way. By putting a restriction on what you can do, you can have the creature have more built into it. Okay, and that's it. That's my, that's my pretty rapid fire idea for some design space for Wizards of the Coast. But it doesn't matter, probably, because it's a nine on the storm scale for a reason I've explained and perhaps much more than that. That's alright, though. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you later. Bye-bye!